Prince Albert National Park encompasses 3874 square kilometers, 1496 square miles in central Saskatchewan, Canada and is located 200 kilometers, 120 miles north of Saskatoon. Though declared a national park March 24, 1927, it had its official opening ceremonies on August 10, 1928 performed by Prime Minister William Lyon Mackenzie King. The park is open all year but the most visited period is from May to September. Although named for the city, the park's main entrance is actually 80 kilometers 50 miles north of Prince Albert via Highways 2 and 263 which enters the park at its southeast corner. Two additional secondary highways enter the park, number 264, which branches off HWY, to just east of the Waskshu townside, and number 240, which enters the park from the south and links with 263 just outside the entry fee collection gates. The park ranges in elevation from 488 meters (1601 feet) on the western side to 724 meters (2375 feet) on the eastern side. The hamlet Waskshu Lake is the only settlement within the park, located on the southern shore of Waskshu Lake. Most facilities and services one would expect to find in a multi-use park are available. The park also contains the cabin of naturalist and conservationist Grey Owl, on Ajawan Lake. The development of the park as a recreation destination has led to the region immediately southeast of the park boundaries, locations such as Christopher Lake, Emma Lake, Sunnyside Beach, and Anglin Lake, themselves becoming popular recreation destinations. Until the establishment of Grasslands National Park in the 1980s, this was the province's only national park. Biology. <inaudible> 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 Prince Albert National Park represents the southern boreal forest region of Canada. It is a rolling, mostly forested landscape that takes in the drainage divide between the North Saskatchewan and Churchill Rivers. The very southern part of the park is predominantly aspen forest with an understory of elderberry, honeysuckle, rose and other shrubs and openings and meadows of fescue grassland. The fescue grasslands are considered ecologically important because of their rarity. Outside the park, most of the native fescue grasslands have been lost to the plough or to urban development. The aspen forest, meadow mosaic in the southwest corner of the park is particularly unique as it sustains a growing herd of more than 400 plains bison, the only free ranging herd in its original range in Canada that has a full array of native predators, including timber wolves. Most of the park is dominated by coniferous forests, with the cover of jack pine and white spruce becoming more prevalent the farther north one looks. Boreal woodland caribou from a regional population that is declining due to loss of habitat to forest logging range sometimes into the park, but their core habitat lies outside the park to the north. White-tailed deer, elk and, locally, moose are the common ungulates. Wolves are fairly common. The park is noted for its numerous lakes, including three very large lakes, Waskshu, Kingsmere, and Crean. The water quality is high and fish populations robust, except for lake trout that were commercially fished to near extinction in Crean Lake in the early 20th century and, in spite of protection, have yet to recover their former numbers. Northern pike, walleye, suckers, and lake whitefish are among the most common larger fish. One of Canada's largest white pelican colonies nests in an area closed to public use on Lavallee Lake in the northwest corner of the park, and pelicans, loons, mergansers, ospreys and bald eagles are common in summer. Otters are seen regularly, year-round. Winter is an especially good time to find otters as they spend considerable time around patches of open water on the Waskshu Lake Narrows and the Kingsmere and Waskshu Rivers. Topic. Ecosystems The boreal forest extends northerly into the Canadian Shield area from the agricultural zones of southern Canada. Prince Albert National Park lies south of the Shield in landscapes that were shaped by Pleistocene glaciers that deposited glacial till, sand and other materials that were later colonized by trees and shrubs. The ecosystems of Prince Albert National Park are lush and productive. During the warm, humid summers there is abundant insect life and numerous fungi, sustaining a remarkable diversity of boreal birds and other wildlife. There are many lakes and rivers creating wonderful water systems for a variety of waterfowl. Topic. 
Wildlife Some of the many animals are elk, moose, red foxes, beavers, white-tailed deer, badgers, bison, river otters, red squirrels, black bears, coyotes, and timber wolves. A herd of plains bison roams in the southern areas of the park where grasslands mix with woodlands. Flycatchers, Tennessee warblers, double-crested cormorants, red-necked grebes, brown creepers, nuthatches, three-toed woodpeckers, bald eagles, osprey, great blue herons, many species of ducks, and the common loon are just a few of the water fowl and birds which make their home in the park. There are 21 species of fish recorded in the park, including Iowa darter, yellow perch, brook stickleback, spottail shiner, cisco, northern pike, locally called jack fish, walleye, locally called pickerel, and lake trout. Although most people visit the park in summer, the best wildlife watching is often in the winter. Topic: History. BP, before present. There are archaeological traces of prehistory in the park reserve in the form of tools which have been located. Early pre-contact 11,000 to 7,500 BP. Middle pre-contact 7,500 to 2,000 BP. Late pre-contact 2,000 to 200 BP. Post-contact or historic 200 BP to present, at Waskshu Lake was an early Hudson's Bay Company fur trade post between 1886 and 1893. In the early 20th century the industries of fishing and logging were carried out in this boreal forested area. The large 1919 forest fire eliminated the logging industry. The park was the subject of a short film in 2011's National Parks Project, directed by Stéphane Lafleur and scored by André Ethier, Mathieu Charbonneau and Rebecca Foon. Topic: <laughs> Gray Owl The Dominion Parks Service hired Gray Owl, Archibald Stanfield Bellany as the first naturalist. He lived on Ajawan Lake in Prince Albert National Park and wrote of wilderness protection, Pilgrims of the Wild 1935, Sajo and the Beaver People 1935, and Empty Cabin 1936. He was played by Pierce Brosnan in the feature film, Gray Owl 1999. Activities There are many things to do in this park. Topic. Scenic driving tours There are a few main roads through the park. The Narrows Road along Waskshu Lake's southern shore, with many points of interest and picnic areas, ending at a 200-meter narrows, where there is a campground. Lakeview Drive or Scenic Route No. 263 which provides access to several other lakes, Namekis, Trappers, Sandy also called Halkett, as well as many trails. Highway 264 to Kingsmere River, which accesses a small boat or canoe launch site midway between Kingsmere and Waskshu Lakes, and a trail through a railway portage to Kingsmere Lake. Picnicking. There are many picnic sites within the park, set up with picnic tables, scenic views, campfire pits and swimming areas. Namekis Lake Sandy Lake South Gate Meridian Day South Bay Trips Beach King Island Paynton Beach The Narrows Waskshu River Waskshu Landing Main Marina, Point View Birch Bay Heart Lakes Kingsmere Topic. Hiking These trails are 3 km in length or less. They each have descriptive guided brochures which help to identify the natural sites along the way. Boundary Bog Trail Mud Creek Trail Treebeard Trail Waskshu River Trail Kingsmere River Trail Amiskawan Trail Ice Push Ridge Trail Narrows Peninsula Trail 
Spruce River Highlands Tower Trail There are longer trails for the backpacker and hiker which vary from 13 km in length and to 54 km return. Kingfisher Trail Grey Owl Trail Freight Trail Kinawa Trail Elk Trail Fish Trail Hunter's Trail Spruce River Highlands Trail Swimming Surrounding Waskshu Lake there are several beaches to take in swimming during the hot summer months. There are also good beaches at the south end of Kingsmere Lake, Boat or Trail Access, Namekis Lake, and Sandy Lake. Canoeing <inaudible> 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 Bagua Canoe Route and Bladebone Canoe Route are two canoe routes of varying lengths. As well the park offers a multitude of lakes which are amenable to the canoe enthusiast. Amiskawan, Shady, Hart, Kingsmere and Waskshu Lakes are just a few of them. <laughs> Boating Power boats are only permitted on some Prince Albert National Park lakes. Motor boats are allowed on Waskshu, Crean, Kingsmere, Sandy and the Hanging Heart Lakes. There is a limit of 40 horsepower motors on Kingsmere. The Waskshu Marina, Heart Lakes Marina and the Narrows have boat launches permit and fee required and docks. Boat, canoe and kayak rentals are available at all three, by the hour or by the day. The Waskshu Marina has a concrete breakwater. A permit is required to use boat launch facilities. Personal watercraft are not allowed on any lakes. Canoes, kayaks and sailboats are allowed on all waters. Fishing Just like those who use the waters for commercial fishing in the early 20th century, campers may also find relaxation fishing for northern pike, walleye, lake trout, whitefish, or yellow perch. The park requires purchase of its own licenses to fish in the park. Limits and seasons are different than in the province of Saskatchewan. Some areas, e.g., spawning grounds, are closed to fishing. Camping At this park one can choose from serviced or unserviced front country camping or go by canoe, boat and backpacking, and choose back country camping. Most back country camping occurs on Kingsmere and Crean Lakes. Permits and fees are required for all camping, whether front or back country. Front country sites can be reserved by website or telephone. Open fires are allowed at campsites, excluding Red Deer Campground, after payment for a fire permit. Fire permits are not required in picnic areas. The following are accessible by automobile and can accommodate trailers and motorhomes. Beaver Glen Campground on the east margins of the Waskshu Town site has electricity to half of its 213 sites no water or septic hookups, washrooms with hot and cold water and showers, central septic tank service and drinking water. Sites can be booked in advance through the Parks Canada Campground Reservation Service through a toll-free number or via online reservation. Details about how to reserve can be found at the Parks Canada website. Red Deer Campground, formerly Trailer Court is to the immediate southwest of Beaver Glen in the Waskshu town site. This site has power, water and sewage hookups at each of its 161 pull-through sites and is designed for large trailers and motorhomes. There are no open fires are allowed at Red Deer. Sites in Red Deer can be booked in advance in the same way as Beaver Glen. The Narrows Campground has flush toilet washrooms with cold water only, and no other services. Sites at the Narrows are first come first served. Namekis, Trappers, Sandy Lakes have septic tank toilets, water source not drinkable without treatment. These sites are also first come first served. There are a series of boat accessible campsites, the level of waves that can come up with overnight weather changes on Waskshu, Kingsmere and Crean Lakes, provide some risk for boats that cannot be completely pulled out of the water at night. Topic. Interpretive programs. The Nature Center in the Waskshu townsite has information about interpretive programs Freight Trail 27 km one way Elk Trail 39 km one way 
Fish Lake Trail 12 km one way Hunters Lake Trail 12 km one way Westside Boundary Trail 37 km one way Red Deer Trail, three loops totaling 17 km Kinawa Trail 5 km one way Amiot Lake Trail 15.5 km loop bicycle rentals are available in Waskshu townsite. Topic: <inaudible> Wildlife and bird watching. Flycatchers, Tennessee warblers, red-necked grebe, brown creepers, nuthatches, three-toed woodpeckers, bald eagle, osprey, great blue herons, common loon are just a few of the many bird species to be seen in the park. Elk, black bear, fox, moose, beaver, deer, otter are a sampling of wildlife of the park area. Although most people visit the park in summer, the best wildlife watching is often in the winter. Wolves often travel on the frozen lakes and along the plowed roads, and elk and deer are common right in the town of Waskshu. Open water at the narrows on Waskshu Lake and where the Waskshu River exits from the lake makes otter sightings very reliable. Foxes, including the red, cross and silver color phases, are frequent sightings in winter too. <inaudible> Aurora watching Due to the park's northern latitude, auroras are very common on clear nights even when solar activity is relatively low. Golfing. <inaudible> 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 Stanley Thompson designed an 18-hole golf course in the park. It was built in the early 1930s. Its official name is the Waskshu Golf Course, but is often called the Lobstick after a tournament it hosts each year. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Climate. Waskshu experiences a borderline humid continental subarctic climate, Köppen Dfb, Dfc. The highest temperature ever recorded in Waskshu was 36.5 degrees Celsius (98 degrees Fahrenheit) on the 5th of June 1988. The coldest temperature ever recorded was -48.3 degrees Celsius (-55 degrees Fahrenheit) on the 21st of January 1935. Topic: See also List of National Parks of Canada List of Protected Areas of Saskatchewan National Parks of Canada <laughs>